Here's a person who just sent me a magazine article in the mail today, and she's reading one of our books in the magazine. <laughs> there's there's the, the picture of the book. It's fun. I, I love I love my work. Well, you know, everyone has to start with their first book, and um, it's a challenge. I remember when I thought about writing my first book, I thought, oh my God, it seems like such a huge thing to do. I had just finished being a high school teacher back in Chicago. I was uh, teaching in an inner city school where I realized my students weren't that motivated to learn. And I was really excited about history, but they didn't seem to be. And at first I thought, well, maybe I'm not a great teacher. And then I began to realize that they didn't believe they could learn. So I started studying this area called self-esteem. How do you raise kids' belief in themselves? And I started taking workshops. I read all the books I could get my hands on, but I never found the book that I wanted to buy. And someone once said to me, one of my professors, if you can't find the book you're looking for, it must be you're supposed to write it. And so I thought, well, maybe I am. And so I sat down and I wrote a book on 100 ways to enhance self-esteem in the classroom. And that book, which was a book for teachers, went on to sell 400,000 copies. And um, literally just, it absolutely changed my career. I don't think there's anything simple about writing a book. Uh, you gotta deal with a lot of obstacles. First of all, you're taking time away from your family, your wife, your children. There's the self-doubt you have to confront. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I sit there and going like, does this really read well? Is anyone really gonna care about this? Am I wasting my time? Uh, often you're taking time away from your health because you're sitting there for long hours. I can remember many times starting to write at seven at night and the next thing I knew the birds were singing as the sun was coming up. But I had such a passion, I wanted to get this message out and I just was, whatever it took, I was gonna do it. So with Chicken Soup for the Soul, which is probably my greatest achievement in my life, uh, that came about very surreptitiously. I was giving talks and I was illustrating all of my seminars and my workshops and talks with stories because I know that stories help people to remember the concept. And I was uh, telling stories in my talks. I was in Boston coming home on a plane and someone had just asked me that day, said, a story about a puppy. Is that in a book anywhere? My daughter needs to read it. And a week earlier, someone said, the story about the Girl Scout. Is that in a book anywhere? My daughter needs to read it. So I started writing down, what are the stories I know? And I came up with like 71, something like that. And I thought, wow, there's enough for a book. Once you've written a book, and it could take you know anywhere from six months to a year to write it, then you gotta sell it. And with Chicken Soup and the Soul, you know, it's kind of a classic story now, but we were rejected over the course of a year and more uh, by 144 publishers. They said, people don't read short stories, it's a stupid title, it's not sexy, it's not edgy. And um, you know, if we'd given up after 100, I'd not be sitting here today. And that's led now to 225 books with over 500 million copies sold in 47 languages around the world. Absolutely changed my life. I've met some of the most amazing people. I've had lunch at the White House. I've met Bill Clinton, I've met George Bush, I've met the king of uh, several countries, I've met presidents of countries, I've met the guys who started Google. So it's given me uh, ability to influence, to get into government, to make a difference in politics, to, to have a lot of um, things. But the most important thing it does, and those are all wonderful perks, you know, prestige and power and profits and, you know, the big P's. But the real big one is impact in other people's lives. So what I have here is these are just letters and cards thanking me for everything from books I've written to seminars I've created. Come, here's one from China. I get letters and emails and presents and books other people have written and bottles of wine every single day saying, you changed my life. And I think about, wow, my book impacted that life. And literally, thousands and thousands of stories of people who've started businesses, written their books, and to know that thousands of people around the world have better lives because of what I chose to write, um, that's the payoff. So at this stage of my career, what I've decided to do is to really focus a lot of my energy on helping other authors get their message out and become best-selling authors as well. 
As I thought about that, I said, well, who do I know that's been in my career that's helped me? Some of my co-author friends, some of my friends who are celebrity authors, some of the people that helped me, like Steve Harrison. When we started Chicken Soup for the Soul, we reached out to Steve and said, hey, can you help us get this book out there? And he quantum leaped our success very quickly. And so I said, Steve, would you be willing to team up with me and let's create a training program that can help authors get there faster? And he said, yes. Most people who want to succeed as authors don't realize there really is a marketing game and there are proven strategies you can use to get more publicity and sell a lot of books. And Jack and I have really enjoyed teaming up to really share the bestseller blueprint with aspiring authors. Everybody has a book, whether it's a memoir or a cookbook or a book about how you were successful as a teacher, a real estate agent, whatever it might be. There's something you have to share with the world that's uniquely yours. And here's the deal, you just have to start. You sit down and you write one page, and then you write a second page, and then you write a third page. Now, it's easy to say that. There's some skills that are useful to do that. We can teach you how to do that. We can give you the confidence to do it, we can give you the skills to do it, and we can give you the support to keep doing it until you get it done, and then teach you how to get the book out there so people actually read it, and you, my friend, have a huge impact in the world that's going to give you a sense of meaning and fulfillment that you can't even imagine today.